So there's a little plastic tab that needs lifting up. And then once that's lifted up a bit, you can slide the internal connector out. If you lift it too much, you are likely to break it. So once it's lifted up, you can push the, the, the internal connector out. And there it is, very, very small. So as you can see, the wire goes in the back of it and is held down. And the wire over time is slightly worn away. So what I've done is I've twisted the wires and now it's the case of trying to feed it through the small gap at the back. The wires that are already on the connector, I can't get them out. I tried unclamping them, but it's just too small and too, too hard. So I've had to leave them in there and then push it in as far as I can. There's much going through. Then once I've got as much through as possible, add a little bit of flux and then solder it. Plenty of solder so that it's going to be nice and secure. And then that's done, it looks nice and secure to me. Give it a little clean and isopropyl alcohol before reinserting. Now it's just a case of lining up and feeding it back through. So it has, a, it has a top and a bottom side. So you just need to make sure it goes in right because of the pins at the end line up with the battery connectors on the board if you put it in the wrong angle then they're not going to be able to line up with the slots just need pushing through, right through so that it clips back underneath the plastic clip that was lifted up before, like that. And then that's it pretty much done. So as you can see, there is a little bit of exposed cabling. So what you could do is either put a bit of insulation around it, or what I'll do is just I'll just put a little blob of hot glue on the end of it, just so nothing touches it when it is connected. So I hope you liked the video, I like doing these little close ups under the microscope, it's something different, thanks for watching, please like and subscribe.